Hey guys, this is uh, going to be part two of my large size star note collection. Um, please go watch part one if you have not. I went through, oh, six or seven notes in that one, and I'm going to go through the rest of them in this one. So this is where we left off last time. All right, first one. This is a rare note. All right, this is the FR39. It's a mule um, and star right there, FR39 mule star. Um, I'll make a separate video about mule notes and kind of what those are, and I'll get some examples of them uh, in the future here. I need to do that. Uh, I really need to work with someone on that. Maybe I can get uh, maybe Polar Currency or Silver Surfer. Maybe someone would want to reach out to me, and maybe we can do like a, some type of dual video going over mules. So I think it would be good information to have out. But anyway, I'll get back to this. Uh, this note right here is the rarest of the, what they call the sawhorse notes. They're called sawhorses because of the back here. All right. So these are the 1917 legal tenders. It's a common note without the star. And uh, I believe last time I looked, there's only like 18 of these things graded. All right, that's PMG graded. Maybe PCGS Banknote has graded some as well, but uh, 18 is still a very low number. Um, a note like this, you know, is is $600 plus, I believe. Uh, just pretty, pretty tough notes to find. Okay, here's another one. Here's the FR37. Okay, same sawhorse. Notice it's got a, a v, VF35, very fine grade on it. Uh, I always thought this one should have should have been an EPQ as well. It's got really good paper on it. It's got a nice serial number too. But uh, I'll keep going. Another sawhorse. This is just the standard FR39. That's not the mule. All right. Little uh, little easier star to find. You can actually get these in a better grade pretty easily. Just you can search eBay and find them. You are going to have to pay a little bit more for them. Those higher grades in these legal tender stars are, you know, they hit six or $700 pretty quickly. Okay, here's the FR38 mule star. All right, if you're looking for a mule star, this is one of the more common ones, but still pretty tough. Um, this one I had to search for pretty good because a lot of people that have these don't let them go. Um, I cannot remember exactly how many uh, we had in the census last time I looked. I want to say like 35 or so. I might be a little off getting it mixed up, but something like that. So um, they are out there to get if you're patient. Okay, here's a cool one. It looks like that silver certificate I showed you, the 1923 that we started the video with, but this is actually the legal tender of the same series issue. All right, and uh, it's got those big red seals. It has a little staining over here, but go out and try to find one of these. These are uh, these are pretty tough to find, and uh, the value of them, of them has has went up pretty good. Um, I think there's over a hundred of these in the census, but they're just uh, people hold on to them. You know, this one has a six-digit serial number. There's actually, I believe, a three or a four-digit serial number available out there on eBay right now that I saw. So I'm filming this video, and it is uh, the first day of October. So it might still be up. Uh, I don't know when I'll release these videos, but uh, we'll, maybe they'll still be up if you are interested in them. Okay, starting to get to the more, more rare stuff. This is the 1922 Gold Certificate. All right, I love gold certificates. They just look so cool. Michael Hillegas on the on right here, you know, he's really uh, stoic looking, always like that portrait. Uh, this is FR 1173 star with the large serial numbers. Everything's designated up here if you're ever curious. If you want to look up a note or whatever, uh, if I go through something and don't tell you, just pause the video and look up here and you can get all the information you need. All right, this is the star version of a gold certificate. These are um, these are uncommon. They're not super rare, but they are uncommon to find. All right, this is in pretty decent shape. All right, the majority that you find will be in that uh, that like F12 to VF25 shape. 
they were were circulated. Okay, here's one of my all-time favorite notes that I own. It's VF25. It's the FR1187 star. George Washington on it with the star. Super cool note. Um, this one, I, I want to think now these are in this shape. They're touching $1,000. Um, really neat note to have. And I, I think it's probably more of a VF30 or so. Uh, it does have a slight horizontal crease here that you can see. It takes away from the eye appeal, but man, the color on it and the embossing is just super nice. It's one I got to zoom in on and just kind of show you. I love the original paper on it, and it's just it's just a really cool note, really nice one. Okay, here is the FR257 Star. Uh, this is known as a mini porthole that gets its name right here, like the porthole on the side of a ship. All right, we got Washington's portrait here, and this happens to be the star version of it. Um, this one is a 30 EPQ. All right, I love having the exceptional paper quality designation on it. Uh, notes like this, um, they can, you know, they're right there in that $1,600, $1,800 mark. Um, I think the book on these is something like $3,500 or whatever, but uh, it's a good example of, you know, you need to look at past auctions. You need to look at that type of stuff before you go out and drop, you know, $3,500 on a note. Okay, really, uh, really unique one. Okay, uh, here's a really rare note. I believe there's only eight of these. Uh, this is the Chief. All right, uh, Chiefs are sometimes cornerstones in a lot of collections. Uh, this is the cornerstone in my personal Star Note collection here because it's a Star Note Chief. Uh, with this Freeberg number, like I said, I think there's eight of them, maybe nine of them. Um, something like this is, you know, 4K plus on value. Um, it's a note that I literally saved up for for months and months and months. All right, sold a bunch of stuff, you know, and 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 really was disciplined in getting something like this. It's my favorite note in my collection, and it's just uh, something I'm really happy with every time I see it. But really rare star. To end it, all right, here, this is... The uh, the ten dollar nineteen oh one legal tender Lewis and Clark also known as the Bison Note, um, it is rough and ratty. Probably honestly a little over graded. It's probably more of like a uh, VG eight VG ten something like that. But go out and find you one and look at the prices of them. So they're they're very rare, very tough to find. Um, you start getting up in the VF thirty range uh, on these things and you can touch six or seven thousand dollars pretty easily uh, a note like this is like a little over 2k 2500 something like that um, I got it affordable that's the only reason I got it and luckily I had the money whenever uh, it did become available but uh, this is a note that that you know I'm never going to let go of and I uh, a lot like the chief I just really enjoy it every time I see it so um, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, this one went a little longer than part one, but hopefully you stuck at, out with me. And I will see you all next video. Thank you for watching.